This is a quick nParse guide. Download and extract nParse. I simply extract it to a new folder on my desktop. Open nParse and the first time you open it, the maps and spell windows should appear. Clicking the toggle in the left hand corner of these windows will unlock them. Unlocking the windows allow for you to move them, resize them, minimize them, etc. When the windows are locked, they will stay above all other programs, allowing you to use it as an overlay. If you play with multiple monitors, you may also choose to just leave these windows on a separate screen from your EverQuest client. In the spell window, you would want to set the level value to the level of the character you are playing. This will help to assure the proper timer durations on spells. You can zoom in on the maps with your scroll wheel and hold the control key while mouse dragging to look around. Find the nParse icon on your taskbar and right click it. Click on the Select EverQuest Logs Directory button and direct it to your log file within your EverQuest directory. You must do this and enable logs within the game for this to work. There is a .ini file within your EverQuest directory that you can edit to have logs enabled always by default. This is so very much so recommended, whether you are setting up nParse or not. You can also use the slash logs on command in game, but you'd have to do that every time you log on a character. Simply edit your eqclient.ini file to have logs always on equals true. From the taskbar, you can also toggle the maps and spells windows like this. Right click a map to select different options, including what map you would like to view. You can swap between maps as often as you'd like to. You can also set waypoint icons and timers. NParse will automatically switch to the map of the zone you are zoning into. If it doesn't, you can easily and quickly switch to it manually. Another neat feature of NParse is the ability to share your locations with others using NParse. This can be utilized to see other players on your map and their location updates in real time. We have players that host this location sharing for us. To get this to work, click the enable sharing box, add a display name. This is the name other players will see. Enter the sharing host name ws colon forward slash forward slash sheep launcher dot net colon 8424. Set the group key to public. Caps might matter here, so keep it as public in the lowercase. My reconnect delay is set to 5 seconds. Click save. nParse reads your EverQuest log file to display your location on the map. It uses the log file to track buff and debuff timers as well. For nParse to know your location, you must use the slash lock or LOC command in game. This tells the program where you are. You can bind the slash lock command to a hotkey on your hotbar. I set mine to a movement key so that my location on the map is constantly updated. That's all there is to it. nParse is a neat tool. See a link to download the current version in the video description. I've also pasted the sharing host name in the description. Later.